Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, you know, got pills. Da, 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 da. But right now, in the morning, it's early in the morning. It's very early in the morning here. I'm taking more my blood pressure pill. It's funny, cause and this is the lowest dose I can have for blood pressure. But it's funny, cause. My whole life, I ain't had no blood pressure problem. I'm always active, da 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 da, whatever the deal is. And uh, then when I started traveling early in the late 90s, well, I've traveled since the late 80s, but when I really started traveling, then, well, my, I had a doctor's thing. She said, oh, you, my, my blood pressure started hop, hopping up, hopping up. Then finally, you know, I had to take some blood pressure pills. But I'm going like, this can't be my lifestyle. So I have to figure out what's going on in this plaque. But then I was listening to Malcolm Anaheim on the Carl Nelson show on the uh, on the YouTube, uh, you know, posting. And he was saying, "Hey, this stuff in the water, whatever, have you?" And now since when I was in South Africa, when I am in South Africa, you know, we we filter our water. I put this over there. Put this over there. Oh, that's right. Hey, what time is it in South Africa anyway? Right now, let's check what time it is. It's like uh, 11:25 in South Africa. Um, I so I can't, I miss my wife. Then again, you know, I have so much to do. I can't really miss my wife. So it's like strange. So, hey, yes, right. I'm wearing. She made this hat. This is my night hat that she makes. She's a designer. So I wear this, and I'm keeping it on this time. Okay, what y'all say? If I don't look cool, do I? I guess I better. Because then y'all be thinking this guy's a nut job. But then again, you know, we all gonna be nut jobs in a while. So let me look cool for you. I won't wear any hat this morning. How about that? But you know, when I went in South Africa, no one is one of them. I just woke up. Like it's very early right now. It's like something after five. I guess it's over. almost 11 30 South Africa. So it's like 5 30 here. I'm not conscious of time all the time. I just wake up and I just start moving. Anyway, um, but here, but when I'm in South Africa, you know, when I sleep, you know, I sleep, then my wife's on this side of the bed, right? So, so when I wake up, I always see her. But even if I'm looking at this side, there's a picture of us both in our, uh, she had made these uh, African, matching African, Af she's an African designer, African out when we went to this, to this wedding, you know. So either way I look, I'm always seeing, you know, I'm seeing a black woman, you know what I'm saying? And after all, I seen a black woman there, and I'm saying, me and this black woman, and now it's, I got, I told her to send, send that, I have one in the, in my phone, but never mind, don't worry about my little problems here. Let me take this off, because you don't want to take me seriously. Hey, let me do it like this. I got, I've got to buy a brush, because I'm letting my hair go. That's nothing. If I'm home, my wife, she always wants to cut my hair, cut nothing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trim this up later, because i got to go to New York tomorrow, or later tonight, whatever. So I'm, I might uh, trim this up just a little bit. I like to look rough. I like to look a certain way, you know, because when I'm traveling, looks is everything, you know. And I look like an old man. People tend to leave you alone. And when I'm down here in Virginia, I always wear my these scrubs, you know, because a couple of things. First, my I, you know, I got a grand nephew now, you know, so so like you know, so he's always so I just wear for that. But also, this is a, a, a lot of military area. It's a lot of military here. Retired military, no regular military. But when I'm wearing like this, I look like a you know, like I work in a hospital, something like that. People tend to leave you alone, you know what I mean? Plus, when I'm in the South, I can wear whatever I want. You should have saw what I was wearing when I was living in Florida. Oh, man, I wore stripes and, 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 and polka dots together. I was like, in heaven. But in New York, I got dressed differently. Anyway, back to the point. Man, there's a lot of stuff happening. Uh, 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 I'll post a Carl Nelson thing uh, with, with Mark from Anaheim. I'll try to post it on this thing. But what I realized is that, you know, for years I've been telling people they don't go into debt, all kinds of things. And, and it's funny because, um, it's here the way it goes with my family. My family is very, very interesting. My sister has all the materialistic genes. I have none of that stuff, but I have a lot of like the spiritual thing and also like in tune with what's happening. And the years ahead, I find sources or whatever have you, I just know what's going on, you know what I mean? But let me tell you just one little incident. We was at the, 
because whatever with my sister when I come down, she wants to shop. You know, once she shops, she does not really shop, and my niece is a shopper. But uh, you know, we're a devastating team that gets very, very interesting. So she wanted to get a, 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 another a chair, a chair. Yeah, I, I, she's going to get something, a, 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 a bed, not a bed, but a fold-out bed, uh, some, something like that. So we went to this. She, so she was talking to these white people. She always, she, she likes to talk to everybody. She, that's how she, she rolls, right? And they gave her a hint what the, there's this really good store, you know, in, the, in this area, in the Hampton Roads area, whatever, whatever, but there's a better store in Suffolk. So these white people told about that. She went to that store. She went to that store. And it was really interesting. Really a good furniture store. Wow, the prices are very good. And all this stuff. Let me tell you something. White people know. If you can talk to white people and not be all whatever, whatever, and you'll be da da da, you get a lot of information. Anyway, back to the point. So we was there, you know, and uh, she picked, found so then and she always used me as a test. And uh, we found this other chair that, look, that looks good. So she's gonna buy some stuff from there, you know, as soon as, as, soon as whatever. Because she doesn't go into, we try not, she doesn't go into debt, because at least she listens to me or some things, you know. Well, she knows how to, to fake finagle the system, right? Um, but on the way out, we saw this, uh, uh, we saw this thing, you know, I said, well, that's, that looks nice. And then the guy showed me this thing and said, whoa, it's a really thing. It's, it's like this table, it's like this um, coffee table, something like that. But it comes up, so it becomes a serving table, so you can sit, and, you know what I'm saying? It's really, really good. But in talking to this guy at this furniture store and stuff, he was telling us that, you know, he's showing these fabrics and stuff like that. Got a beautiful pattern for this for this bed that she's going this bed, just whatever she's going to get this rollout bed that's got an inflatable thing so it's not really a the regular old stupid mattress you get you inflate it up and it's a really good mattress anyway and, and so I picked out a and right away I know what I said no this is the thing to do and so it's a beautiful pattern so the guy was telling us that everything comes from China now you know there's only and we said well when we saw this uh, other chair or something like that so I said well that comes from uh, from Indiana, I said, yeah, we only have all, Indiana has furniture, right? But the fabric and stuff like they have a very limited thing and this doesn't, basically it doesn't pop, you know? But the, chi the Chinese, the, the, all the fabric, everything is coming from China because they, they, they got it that way, you know? And China, they just got it that way. So if they, they you know, the, the government, they don't mention China and stuff like that. In fact, the one thing I'm pissed off at Bernie, he just had a, uh, uh, I'm starting to jump around, but I got this my morning thoughts. You give put my morning thoughts. Bernie had a, uh, uh, a, um, a interview with Joe Rogan, and then he was just talking about China, you know, the communists, whatever. P people, wake up. There's no such thing as communism anymore. Not even Cuba is communist. If you, okay, they may be communists, but they're not communists. You know what I mean? Communism is gone, right? China is capitalist. Forget China. The, the countries that's happening right now, the, forget countries. Everybody knows, especially in the, everybody knows that your so-called leaders, their their people, it's controlled by the economy. It's controlled controlled by oligarchs that that that, that manipulates everything. Something's happening there that they, they they know no borders. You no, know, yeah, I got to have a passport to go here and there, but they know no borders. You know, actually, the reason, only reason I carry an American passport, I can go more places. I'm a little, little tiny bit of freedom. We don't know how long it's gonna last, but. These folks got you on lockdown. You up there fighting each other. You have no idea who to fight. No idea who to fight. You know, these white supremacists, forget white supremacists, these U.S. citizens <laughs> are fighting, are, are shooting up with the other U.S. citizens. You know, and then plus there's, uh, let me tell you something else. Huh? Other guy I listened to is, uh, is uh, Bo with Fifth Column. And he was talking about the 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 the, 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 the amount of, of murder and shootings in each city. Everybody talking about Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. That's what the news is. Chicago. No, Chicago's some way way down the list. You know the number one the number one city for murder, right? Where I got to go to in less than a month, St. Louis, Missouri. I said, man. But I got you know. All I'm trying to say is that you got to do your own research. Stop listening. To, you got to stop listening. Stop listening to these major newsmen. Stop listening to these politicians. They know all they want to do is what they want to do. In fact, let me and let, I want to end it here. But let me just say something. I still haven't changed of who I was who I'm supporting for the, the, the Democratic nomination. First is Tulsi Gabbard, president. Okay. Main reason she she stands to stand up to the military, but that's but even she'll be whatever. But here's the thing, Tulsi is brilliant, brilliant. 
Right now, if you go and if you if you're on online, her ads, she's using that money to all his YouTube, ads, you know, all, all the little ads. She's all over that, you know what I mean. So she's in people's content. So she waited till she, so people Googled her, you know what I mean. She just she, whoever her team is, I got when I go, I gotta get, I gotta get help in Tulsi, right? So she's the number one. Forget Bernie, uh, all those senators. They need to go back to the Senate and do do something useful, man. Because because what, what they're proposing, they don't know what they're talking about. Okay. Yes, I said it. Bernie don't know what he's talking about. You know. So my number one thing is Tulsi Gabbard for president, Andrew Yang for vice president. He said, oh, Andrew, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm a little suspect of him too. However, you know, and with that whole freedom dividend, at least it'll quell the, the the whatever people won't feel so useless with some little bit of change in their pocket. Well, he says. Plus, he has other things that he's looking at, like like the malls are closed. We just we just had a mall, um, the mall here, the Chesapeake Square Mall here. And we said a more here. I mean, it's like half the shops. It was like deserted. You know what I mean? So these things are happening in front of your eyes, and I think real people are seeing this stuff. So the stuff, the, the stuff that the, the Bernie and all these other you know people, comma whoever, that is happening, it ain't happening. That, that guy Budjiki, whatever the, the, the mayor Pete. You know what I mean? He got this whole thing. You know, he's going to to the uh, to the super delegates and trying to court them. And of course, Biden's got the super delegates all, all wrapped up too. So this whole political thing is like. I'm not even listening to that stuff. You know what I mean? I know who I want right now. Unless something major happens, you know, to, with Tulsi or Andrew, that's my that's my that's my two peoples. You know what I mean? Well, it's, it's Tulsi. You can't do vice president right now. And uh, one more thing um, for ADOS. ADOS, I think, man. They got to get some better strategy, man. Just don't understand. It doesn't take a lot of people. Stop hopping on things. Stop trying to snipe, you know, celebrities or whatever have you. You don't have to do that, man. Just stick with. If you're gonna do data facts, just do data facts. Just leave this. Leave this and then using it. If you use the data fact to, to attack this and that, for attack, 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 and that sounds like an attack. Look, stop attacking. You're on the, or you're a little bit on the radar. You're not going to get a, 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 a critical mass. And two, you get some strategy and tactic. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that with the with the conference we can have some sanity, some people to talk face to face, right? Because right now we just megaphoning, we just hashtagging it, and, and, and um, um, you know, of course, not a whole lot of people listen to this channel, so I can keep on ranting like this, so it doesn't really matter. But the point is, you know, what I mean, strategy and tactics. Black people have always been missing out on strategy and tactics. Not thinking, I mean, forget that, ch it's, it's checkers, it's chestnut checkers, but forget that. I, I don't, mm. there are people who are in tune that know. You don't have to listen to those people, but you have to hear what they say and then research those kind of things, okay? Um, one more thing, my favorite person right now, yes, I, I have to do, you know, I have to listen to, you know, Breaking Brown and, 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 and uh, Antonio Moore, yeah, but I love Corey Holcomb, 5150, Corey Holcomb, he was just on Mansions with, with Zoe Williams, you know, Zoe Williams, you, you see him on um, uh, uh, Hidden Colors uh, 5, you know what I mean, he's there with the, with <laughs> so, oh man, I love so. Um, Hidden Colors 5 again, let me go to plug for them again, just, just do that. Uh, Black Authority, but he's, you know, I, I, he's for, for me, he's for entertainment purposes only. I, don't know. I know he's serious or whatever have you. But between 5150 and, like I say, a um, uh, 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 compensatory concept, you know, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. and and, and, and Bo, the fifth column, uh, and, you know, break him down to a certain extent. And everyone's one way here, uh, uh, Mark from Anaheim. Those are my, oh, I forgot, Max Kaiser, of course. Max, you got to get with Max. Max K Kaiser Report, you got to get with it, man. You, <sighs> there's people out here that know. Find, 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 find these folks and let them inform you and then do your research from them, those inf that, that information that they give you. That's it. I just had to rant. It's a morning. It's early morning. I'm going to take the dog out for a walk. The dog loves me because, you know, they don't walk the dog in the morning. But the, me and the, I like the morning walk because, eh, so, so me and the doggy, you know, we, we're good. You know, Amari is the name of the dog's name. You know, it, was, it was my niece's dog, but she's, my, my, whatever. He's old now, but he liked to walk with me. Anyway, that's it for me. T, for the palace is taking the train to Tibet. So letting you know what I only suspect from ADAS of the ADOS. That would be uh, the American descendants of chattel slave, or I should say, the citizens, the U.S. citizens. Descendants of chattel slavery. U.S. citizens descendants of chattel slavery. That sounds better, because people get messed up with that American thing. Anyway, that's it.